Hello everybody, my name is Alvin George Gearing, and I was born on Friday the 13th of December 1912 to my parents Augusta and Eugene Gearing. In 1929, my dad, a resident of the Third Ward, was elected to a four-year term as alderman in the city of Gretna. He continued in that role as alderman for 40 years. In 19, I graduated from Gretna High School in 1930, where 45 of us received our diplomas in the school's auditorium located at 10th Street and Copernicus or Copernicus as the locals nicknamed it, which was later renamed Huey P. Long Avenue. I went on to college and received my Bachelor of Arts degree from Loyola in 1935. Archbishop Rumble addressed us at that ceremony. In 1937, I married Lena Maurice at the nuptial mass at the Church of the Immaculate Conception. Although the heavy rains marred our procession from the church, Many of our guests toasted us at the wedding reception held at the West Side Country Club after the ceremony. Perhaps some of you are not familiar with that location. It's located on Berman Highway and later became Plantation Country Club. For many years, the colonial style clubhouse housed a reception room and dance floor. In June of 1942, I was appointed principal of Gretna High School. I succeeded Miss Helen Cox, who retired after serving as teacher and principal for more than 50 years. I was an easygoing principal. Very few students were disciplined by me. I didn't have to be the bad guy because most kids were good kids. We all went through the war together. We all had vegetable gardens. We were like brothers and sisters. No, we were more like second cousins. You see, everybody in Gretna is related to each other in some way. <laughs> the students called me Prof Gearing. I went to all the Gretna High School sporting events of baseball, basketball, and football games. I had a funny way on how I addressed the students with a soft-spoken voice. Fellas, relative to the question, relative to the cause. I once saw a young female freshman drop her books on the floor in the hallway and I said, now girls, we're not supposed to treat our books like this. <laughs> I kept busy in my community. I served on many committees and board of directors, including the James Huber Blank Council Number 1905 of the Knights of Columbus, the Hook and Ladder Exempt Society, the Easter Seals, the Jefferson Parish Unit of the Library of the uh, Louisiana Teachers Association, the Library Board of Control, and many more. In 1955, we hosted our last graduate graduation at the Gretna High School Auditorium. Gerald DeLuca presented the salutatory address, Catherine Hepting delivered the valedictorian speech, and Richard White presented the diplomas. The reason why this was our last graduating class is three schools from Gretna, Marrero and West Wego were combined into a consolidated school named West Jefferson High. The Gretna High School building then became the site of Gretna Junior High. <clears throat> On October 1st, 1975, the school building was reduced to a gutted shell by a fire which raged out of control for about three hours. It was definitely a case of arson. Chief Luke Labruza of the David Crockett Fire Company said arson was definitely the cause of the blaze. About 135 firefighters from Crockett, <coughs> Gould, Terrytown, Harvey, Marrero Ragusa, and Estelle responded to the call. Seven fires had been set in different parts of the building. Onlookers watched as the walls collapsed. The ceiling had completely caved in. Smoked billowed for hours. No one was injured. Gretna police officers discovered the blaze at around 9.43 in the morning while on a routine armed robbery call. School board member Joseph Toomey said it would cost about $3 million to replace the building. James Lawson, school board president, said a platoon system would take place so that Gretna students could attend school elsewhere. In 1994, 
my wife Lena and I attended the Gretna High School's class of 1944's 50th reunion. This was probably the last time I got to reminisce with my students before I passed away in 1996. Since then, there have been many more Gretna High School alumni gatherings. In 2010, residents, many with tears in their eyes, shared memories as they came to rededicate the, old, the Gretna High School monument located at the old school site at 10th and Huey P. Long Avenue. The, the new brick walkway was enhanced with a, uh, that was donated by the last graduating class. It was engraved with the bricks of the graduating class of 1955, the names of the teachers, and my name listed as Principal Alvin Gearing. Now, boys and girls, thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the rest of the tour. Thank you, Paul. Thank you oh so much. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Alvin Gehring was portrayed by Mr. Paul Coles, and this is his sixth year portraying someone here in Hook and Ladder. It is absolutely amazing that they can do this. It really is. Thank you. Enjoy it was the rest beautiful, of the tour. Paul. Thank you. All right, we'll go this